Hey everybody, I'd like to welcome everyone. My name is Jim Griffin. I'm the director of the Department of Parks and Recreation. And I want to thank you for joining us here tonight to uh, observe Black History Month for the city of Pittsburgh. I'd also like to thank uh, Mr. Bobby Short for the wonderful music so far to open the event and we'll hear him throughout the night. Can I give a big hand for Mr. Short? In the past, the city of Pittsburgh and city parks have honored every individuals from all across the industry for their trailblazing in different fields. Writers, playwrights, artists, musicians, and the list goes on. Today, we would like to carry on the tradition and highlight more local African Americans who are making their mark by writing the next chapter in our history. This year, the theme is a history on film a tribute to African Americans' contributions to film. It embodies how our honorees are helping us mold and shape the future and bring their talents to communities to, to, through the work they do both on and with film. Our special guest speakers tonight are the following. Writer, producer, and director, Ms. Naje Young, who's with us tonight. How about a hand for Ms. Naje? In addition, we have actress, producer, and entrepreneur, Kimmery Johnson. How about a hand for Ms. Johnson? These Pittsburgh natives, two individuals who relentlessly worked in developing uh, films and movie roles, they are opening further doors for the next generation of actors, actresses, writers, producers, and filmmakers. We are helping them to achieve their, by helping them to achieve their dreams, I would like to say thank you for all their work to help the community and honor the city of Pittsburgh. I would like also to thank our sponsor, WAMA 100, for their ongoing support of this event and helping us promote Black History Month. Here to say a few words on behalf of Black History Month for WAMO. Oh, I'm sorry, they're not, WAMO's not here, just here yet, so we'll, we'll keep going. Um, let me also uh, welcome another guest of ours tonight who's here, and that's our chairman of the Urban Recreation Committee, uh, Councilman O'Connor. Is Councilman O'Connor here? Oh, gosh, here he is. I know, Jim, I'm too short, you can never see me. Wow. Um, well, on behalf of the Parks Department and the City Council here in Pittsburgh, we just want to thank everybody for coming. This is a great annual event that we do to celebrate Black History Month, and I'm really honored that we're doing film this year. Pittsburgh has come a long way in the film industry, and this is something that we keep our tradition going. We have new movies coming left and right to the city of Pittsburgh each and every day, but it all starts with our history, and I think it's it's great that we have so many famous, not only directors, but actors that came from the city of Pittsburgh. And it's great that we're down here honoring them this month with this great facility and these great monuments that we put up here each and every year. So I first want to give a huge thank you to all of the partners in our Parks Department, besides the director who does a great job, for all the volunteers. If you guys could just raise your hand and be recognized. Our, par our Parks Department continues to celebrate Pittsburgh's rich history, not just in this building with this great facility that we put together tonight, but also in our neighborhoods. They bring back the tradition and the history of, hey, this is where I played, this is where I grew up, and it's all based on the Parks Department and the great job that they do. And when you look towards the history of the city of Pittsburgh, when this next gentleman who I'm gonna introduce sat next to me at City Council, if I ever needed a history lesson, on what one of our mayors did in the past, it would be our mayor, Mayor Peduto. He enjoys talking about the rich history of our city, and he also uses it when he talks about the vision of Pittsburgh, and not just where we are, but where how we got here and where we plan on going in the future. And if you look at his vision, you'll see that in each and every neighborhood, we rely on the roots of those neighborhoods as we continue to grow. So it is my honor to bring up somebody that I know loves to talk about history, um, and is honored to have all of these films come to the city of Pittsburgh because he knows the important economic impact that it provides for us. But it's my great honor to bring up to you our mayor, Mayor Bill Peduto. Thank you, Councilman, Director, honored guests, um, well earned. You know, we stand in this beautiful building uh, as we celebrate a 200th anniversary of a city. And for the 100th anniversary, they built this wonderful building as a testament to the city and to the county as well. 
in recognizing those 100 years. Well, we don't have that kind of money. <laughs> but what we're doing is we're celebrating the richness of our city through its people. And what's really special as we kick off Black History Month is that for the past three years, we've celebrated it through the arts. You remember two years ago when we celebrated the lost history of black comic book writers who, along with the National Courier, uh, was, were able to basically create careers not only for Pittsburghers but for people around this country in the, in the field. And then last year we celebrated jazz musicians and the legacy that is still present right here and is helping to change young people's lives through an enrichment of art and after school programs and being taught by the legends. And today we look back and we see an entire industry of film. It was created right here in Pittsburgh with the first Nickelodeon and created with the Warner Brothers up the street who created a studio then went out west. And throughout the history you see entwined in it the rich culture of Pittsburgh's African American community. Helping to create more than an industry, helping to create what we view as America itself. And it's interesting too because even though we celebrate 200 years as a city, the rich culture of Pittsburgh's black community goes back far beyond that. Going back to the days when George Washington and Braddock fought, to the days when the Fort Pitt was created, to the days of the revolution, to even being the founders and the people who signed on of creating Allegheny County. Far before there was ever a city of Pittsburgh, there was an African American community that helped to create it all. And we forget that, but today we remember. And we celebrate with us great Pittsburghers who are taking it to the next generation, to the next part of what our history will be. Those that have succeeded on stage and in film and in writing, and about extending this past 100 years of building a film industry for the rest of this country and the rest of this world in keeping our roots in Pittsburgh. Thank you. Thank you so much, Mr. Mayor. I want to thank the mayor for coming. I also want to ask him to help me uh, honor some of the, the uh, designees who are here. Uh, with us tonight. We'll name all of them, of course, and we'll have certificates for all. But we're happy to be joined by four um, uh, honorees tonight, uh, including um, Ms. Johnson and, and Ms. Young. But also with us tonight are, uh, and I hope you can come up to the stage, Mr. Nathan Jones. Nathan, Nathan Jones, can you come up for a certificate? You can come on up. Stay right here, we'll get it to you. Um, of course, we also want to honor uh, uh, Ms. Uh, N sorry, Najai uh, Young is here as well. If she can join us here. Sure the right one, but hang right here. Um, and also, we're joined by Ms. Kimmery Johnson, of course, who's going to speak to us in a second. And lastly, uh, Mr. Mashad uh, Jihad is here tonight as well. Mr. Jihad, come on up. And if you wouldn't mind, Mr. Mayor, would you yes. mind taking a picture? We, actually, why don't we step in front of the podium, down, down below, we can get a picture of you all together, if you don't mind. Thank you, Councilman, as well. Uh, thank you for your, your, your words. Uh, we thank you so much. And now, at first of all, I'd like to introduce one of our uh, featured guest speakers. Uh, again, we talked about her as a writer, producer, director, Ms. Najee Young. She has been involved in the arts for over 20 years. Najee is a proud graduate of Peabody High in uh, East Liberty and also Chatham College, where she received her Bachelor of Arts in Theater Arts. She has written, directed, and taught in prominent theater and arts programs in Pittsburgh, Cleveland, and Los Angeles. And she is first 
He's just now released the film Blood First, a film shot here in Pittsburgh about a family living in Homewood. She used all local actors and actresses in the film. Ms. Ms. Young, would you come join us, please? Thank you for the introduction. Um, I'm Naja Young. First, I'd like to thank the creator and the ancestors for blessing me with the courage to pursue my dreams in an industry that is difficult at best for even the most privileged among us. Many people endeavor to make a feature film, but the idea never makes it to the page. And from the page, it seldom makes it into production. So I realize how lucky, blessed I am to be in this position. I'd like to thank my talented and overworked business partners, Olu and Rashid, <laughs> who helped me stay the course, encouraging me for years, years, to continue writing and directing, and who also learned how to produce a film on the fly, gaining experience that even some of the best film schools in the nation cannot offer. And of course, I have to thank my family and my friends, who let me vent, cry, shout, and share my highs and lows in this business even when they didn't have any clue what the heck I was really talking about. Every time I sat at my parents' dining room table, hunched over my laptop with my head in my hands um, or my brow furrowed, it's a position I like to call the writer's stance, which is this one, um, my father would say to me, you know, Tyler Perry used to sleep in his car. And I would look at him like, thanks, great information. <laughs> and then he would say to me, you know, a lot of people had to make their first films using a credit card. And I would look back at him again like, thanks, what are you trying to say to me? But I do realize now what he was trying to do was to encourage me in a not so subtle way not to give up. It's hard for everybody, especially in this industry. He'd say, keep plugging. You'll never know when something you do is going to catch on. And he was right. He was a hard man, a man's man, straight, no chaser. So when he saw an excerpt of the rough cut of Blood First and he didn't like it and said so in front of a room full of people, I thought, gee, thanks, Dad. Um, great way to show your support. But later, when he saw the final cut of the film at the Greater Cleveland Urban Film Festival, he stood up and proudly proclaimed in front of a room full of people, that's the female Spike Lee. And I thought to myself, I made it. I don't care what happens after this point, that's it. My father loved it. and. I made him proud, and he genuinely enjoyed it. And not because I'm the oldest or the only girl, but as a film lover, which is the best feeling any filmmaker can ask for. Well, besides receiving a certificate from the city of Pittsburgh and Mel Peduto. <laughs> See, there's nothing like returning to the place you grew up and to have people tell you they are proud of you. So earlier today, when I spoke it to students at Kappa's Literary Arts Program, I stressed to them that regardless of where their art takes them, in this life, they should never forget where they come from. And to make a commitment to return and share their talents with the communities that fostered them, that nurtured them. This is why we chose to film Blood First on Pittsburgh's East End, using real Pittsburghers in the cast and crew because we want the world to know the rich talent and neighborhoods we have here. We used real businesses in Homewood, and we shot in real residents' homes in Leek and Larmer. Classmates of mine from Peabody High School auditioned and were cast in leading roles. Local hip-hop artists were used in the soundtrack and in the cast of the film, and we filmed for 26 days in the middle of the summer and never had one negative incident on set. We were treated with snacks, meals, and beverages by local business owners and residents, and people who were afraid to travel outside of their neighborhood to the neighborhoods on the East End felt embraced and protected, and that was all that we could really ask for. Lifelong friendships and partnerships were formed. Now, we didn't set out to have a kumbaya moment on Blood First Set. We really just wanted to film a film and make a good film. 
But since we had that moment of peace, harmony, and togetherness, let's let that be an example of how bringing more opportunities to the often ill-regarded East End neighborhoods can result in something memorable and positive for all. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Young. That was really inspirational, and uh, uh, we are proud of you. We're proud of all of you, all the artists here tonight, all the artists in, who are joining us here tonight. I also would be remiss if I didn't uh, j welcome another special guest we have here tonight. Uh, this is the City County Building, of course, and we're joined, we're lucky enough to be joined by County Executive Mr. Rich Fitzgerald. I don't know if you'd like to say a few words, or are you, please come on up. Thanks, Mr. Thank you, Director Griffin. Appreciate that. And I want to thank the mayor and see Councilman O'Connor here, um, our, our great partners. And we are so proud of the heritage that we have here in Western Pennsylvania, uh, in the city of Pittsburgh, and, and throughout this region. Um, we have a very rich history, so it's so appropriate that as we kick off Black History Month, um, we begin by remembering and honoring those who have, have done so many wonderful things uh, to contribute not only to, to this region, but, but quite frankly to this nation. Um, and, and in Allegheny County, partnering with our, our friends and partners at the city, we will be every single day in the month of February posting on our website two significant people from Allegheny County who have done uh, luminary things and things that have been so important. Today, for example, we're honoring Chuck Austin. Uh, Chuck's a Ben Avon native uh, who was, uh, his talents in jazz were world-renowned, world and he founded the uh, um, African American Jazz Preservation Society. Uh, it was one of, the, one of the folks we're honoring today. The other one is uh, uh, Edna Beatrice Chapel McKenzie who worked in the 40s for the Pittsburgh Courier. It's one of the first. Yeah, that deserves, deserves some, some applaud. And then for our community college, she founded and started the department that she established, the Black Minority and Ethnic Studies Program that goes to this day, CCAC. So we're so richly um, endowed with so many great people who have done so many wonderful things. And, and congratulations to the, to the honorees tonight and the folks that are going to be remembered here and, and, and thought highly of as people come through these halls this month. And it's something that we can all be very, very proud of as Pittsburghers. Thank you, Director. Thank you, Mayor. Thanks for having me. Glad to partner with you guys. Thank you so much, uh, Mr. County Executive. It's really a pleasure to have you here. In addition to the honorees that are speaking tonight, there are several other folks being honored tonight as well. And you'll see uh, honored th uh, throughout our, our, our presentation here. Um, many of them you know by name, but there are others that may be new to you, but they're just as important to us as any uh, celebrity who's ever uh, walked the red carpet. They include Pittsburghers like Bill Nunn and Billy Eckstein, Billy Jenkins, and Billy Porter, Carmel Macklin, Jarvi O'Dosen, excuse me, Jonathan Adams, Mercury Morris, and Jamie Hall, Darcel Wynn, Layman Rucker, Najami Najai, Rusty Cundiff, Tiante Kelly, Vivian Reed, and our honorees tonight. The honorees here with me on stage. And I want to thank Mayor Perdue, I want to thank Chief Executive, and now we move to our next uh, honored guest and speaker. Producer and writer, I'm sorry, actress, executive director. Uh, actress, ac executive director, and entrepreneur, Ms. Kimmery Johnson was raised in Wilkinsburg. She was educated at Homer Middle School, Horner Middle School, excuse me, and Wilkinsburg High School, and went on to study elementary education and child psychology at California University of Pennsylvania. In 1990, she uh, joined Pan Am Airlines as a flight attendant and on their international routes. Her tenure at Pan Am gave her the opportunity to experience the international scene. While working with Pan Am, she was signed by Dockery, a local marketing and modeling agency in Pittsburgh. She then went on to start a company called Skin Glow by, by Kimmery. It's a skincare company with a, beauty line, with a line of beauty products. She's also uh, connected in and won the Miss, she also, I'm sorry, uh, competed and won 
the Miss Pennsylvania USA in 1992. Um, we're also joined by her special guest tonight, her son Cameron. Where is Cameron? There he is. How about a hand for Cameron over here? He's an artist as well. A guitar player, is that right? Classical guitar. So we're happy to, to have him here as well. We look forward to honoring him in the future, perhaps. And again, happy to have him here. So if you wouldn't mind, help me welcome Miss Kim Marie Johnson. Thank you. Thank you very much. I cannot tell you how grateful I am and how much an honor this is this evening to be um, recognized. Um, it's, it's just, it's a delight. Thank you so much. Very much so appreciated. I am from Wilkinsburg, Pennsylvania, where I was raised by my mom and dad. And I believe they instilled very good values in me, good ambitions. My father, who worked um, in the steel mills here in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, with William and Orr, I do believe it was a long time ago. And um, I believe having come from this city, the steel city, gives you um, something very deep to keep you going. I've been very, very many places. I've been, you know, um, overseas. I've been to Paris. I've modeled in Milan, Italy. It's been a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful time for me. And I've always remembered um, the things that they've instilled in me, ambition, drive, dedication, because I am from Wilkinsburg, Pennsylvania. And growing up, it was very difficult. And I know that um, that has helped me very much to have that carrying along with me. So with that, thank you very much, Dad. And <laughs> From Wilkinsburg to Hollywood, that's a long trip there. <laughs> um, I'm always coming back to Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, because it is what gives me the start, it is what grounds me, and it is what gets me through the day. Being on the other side of the camera, and I've also been uh, executive producer and producer for something called Kimchi Warrior, which has made it now in pop culture in Korea. And I'm very, very proud of that. That's one of my... Um, uh, my babies that really went very well for me. That is uh, Kimchi Warrior is an animation and it is about healthy eating and healthy diet and keeping ourselves together and keeping ourselves well. But coming from Wilkinsburg has taught me so many um, you know just just to stand tough throughout everything. I've done film, I've done TV, and it's difficult being on the other side because we don't know exactly what the industry at times is looking for. Sometimes it's very specific, it's very difficult, and it's dominated by just, well, not dominated by very many African-American people. And it's difficult from the standpoint is I'm somewhat mixed, so light skin and then there's dark skin. So there's that thing that we work through as well in Hollywood and here in Pittsburgh still. I'm looking forward to that merging and, and us getting into um, the industry a lot stronger and holding positions a lot better. With that being said, I just really want to thank you for having me come today. And I, I apologize, I didn't ha have anything prepared, but I can't tell you how elated I am that, um, that I'm a part of this. And this is my city. It always makes me proud. I'm constantly speaking about it, probably too much in Hollywood. They're like, why don't you go back to Pittsburgh, you know? <laughs> Which I do very often. But thank you so much again from the bottom of my heart. And um, this is amazing. And um, thank you again. Thank you so much, Ms. Johnson. Uh, you're always welcome to uh, come home anytime you want, okay? And you're speaking to your friends, to your family, and, and Pittsburgh in many ways could be a great example for some of the problems that plague uh, Hollywood in that um, artists who live here can work here, can be productive here, can be em embraced here by not only this community but internationally. So it's a wonderful artistic community we have in Pittsburgh. And again, there's many artists before me tonight who I know and appreciate. 
uh, not just on the walls, but walking in front of me and playing tonight. So I appreciate all, all the work that every artist in this, in this uh, event tonight uh, performed for us. Having said that, I want to uh, close out the event by uh, honoring my staff. Um, who've done a terrific job in this. this is, they've done this for, for project for many years and they helped me get through it. I especially want to thank uh, the following folks. Mr. Brian Cates, Ms. Elizabeth Bliss, Ms. Chris, Mr. Chris Brasher, uh, Lindsay Vandeveer, John Chapman, Nancy Burns, Lee Frankowski, and uh, someone in particular who uh, managed this event for the first time who did a wonderful job, uh, Ms. Dodie Byrne. Can we give a hand, please, to the City Park staff? I again want to thank WAMO uh, 100 for helping sponsor this event, and I want to thank Mr. Short as well for leading us in music. We're going to have more music and more uh, festivities to, to come, but luckily not me speaking. Um, but I want to thank you again for coming tonight. Please enjoy uh, the uh, food and drink that we have set out for tonight, and enjoy the music. And please, uh, again, uh, know how, much, how important this month is to black Americans. Uh, black history is American history. Black art is American art. It's everything we are as a country. Uh, you know, we've been here from the beginning, and we're still here, and we remain uh, Pittsburghers. And I'm, I'm happy again you all are here tonight. So thank you all for coming, and have a good night. Thank you very much.